A few months back, Apple introduced the iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Four versions of the same phone with slightly different specs and price tags. And this is not only done by Apple. Huawei also releases different versions of the same phone. Usually there will be a light vision, the normal vision, and the pro vision. So in this video, we are going to compare the different versions and see if it's worth buying the vision with the highest price tag or if the cheap vision is worth buying at all. And for us to have a qualitative comparison and an accurate conclusion, I'll be using the Huawei P20 Lite and the Huawei P20 Pro. I have used these two phones in the past so the comparison will be based on both phone specifications and user experience. The P20 Lite and P20 Pro were both released on 6 April 2018. And as you can see, the P20 Pro is slightly larger with a screen size of 6.1 inches which is 93.9 square centimeters with a resolution of 1080 by 2240 pixels. Why would the P20 Lite has a screen size of 5.84 inches, which is 85.1 square centimeters? But the resolution is almost the same as that of the Pro Vision. The P20 Lite is an LCD, while the Pro is OLED. On thickness, the P20 Lite is slightly smaller with 7.4 millimeters, while the P20 Pro is 7.8 millimeters thick, and this also causes a big difference in their masses. The P20 Lite weighs 145 grams, while the Pro Vision weighs a whopping 180 grams. When using the P20 Lite, you realize that it is slightly slower than the P20 Pro, and this is mainly due to its small RAM which is 4 gigabytes why would the pro vision is a bigger ram which is 6 gigabytes the internal storage is also different with the pro vision offering a choice of 64 128 and 256 gigabytes why would the light vision is 32 64 and 128 gigabytes the camera is probably the biggest difference between those two brothers the quality you get from the p20 light is way below that of the p20 pro and this is because the p20 light is a dual camera system 16 megapixels and 2 megapixels why would the p20 pro has a triple camera system that is 40 megapixels 8 megapixels and 20 megapixels the p20 pro also offers 4k at 30 frames per second on video while the p20 light only goes up to 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second. Clearly, you can see why the P20 Pro is a high price tag. The fingerprint sensor, which is at the back on the P20 Lite, is more user friendly than the P20 Pro one, which is in the front. So on this one, the P20 Lite wins. However, the P20 Pro takes back the crown on the battery. It is a lithium ion 4000 milliamps hour why would the P20 Lite is a lithium polymer, 3000 milliamps per hour, but they both have fast charging, capable of 58% in just 30 minutes. The P20 Pro runs on Android 8.1 and can be upgraded to Android 10, Why would the P20 Lite can only be upgraded to Android 9.0, and this obviously will affect the speed of the P20 Lite, since they all use the same current chip and finally let's look at the prices the p20 pro is a price tag of 300 dollars plus or minus while the p20 lite uh, price range is around 200 dollars that is a difference of about 100 dollars so let us know what you think in the comment section whether you go for the pro vision or the low priced one and as always if you have liked this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if this was your first time coming to this channel go down there and click on subscribe and also hit the bell so that you'll see all our future videos bye for now and see you on our future video ciao